Hi. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Meet the Member series. Uh, today, we have with us the analytics. So please, could you introduce yourself and tell us what your company does? Well, uh, good morning, and uh, I'm Juliana Rivera. I'm the co-founder with uh, Ricard Gavalda of the spin-off of Amalfi Analytics. And, and my uh, professional career as doctor uh, has been focused on, in uh, analyzing uh, the information of the health information uh, for support management. Eh? As, as director also of information systems, I have uh, the experience of uh, display, deploy uh, uh, tools in, in a hospital. Ricard? Hi, I'm uh, Ricard. Uh, I am a professor of artificial intelligence at the Technical University of uh, Catalonia. I have been working on the theory and the applications of uh, machine learning to a variety of uh, sectors. And when I met uh, Juliana, uh, we decided that our expertise could be put together to help better manage the healthcare system. So what we do at Amalfi is we create uh, platforms for analyzing the data that healthcare centers or healthcare organizations already have, such as hospitals, and use that data to help the managers uh, make better decisions. Uh, some of the uh, issues that we address, for example, in hospital involve uh, reducing waiting times and congestion at emergency departments, managing uh, complex and uh, chronic uh, patients, and uh, arranging better the human resources and the professionals at the hospital so that they can work more efficiently and in better working conditions. Okay, uh, sounds good. And what does, uh, what makes your company stand out from the others? I would say two things. One is uh, being based on uh, state-of-the-art research uh, in machine learning uh, taken from my research group. We really have the best algorithms in the market right now for some of the problems we address. And the other one is the focus on uh, very practical, but uh, very pressing uh, problems at uh, hospitals, for example. Okay. They uh, are, they are uh, problems not resolved until now. Okay. <laughs> and what has been your company's biggest success or biggest failure? As for success, something that we are very proud of is having been able to put in the market five products for healthcare during the pandemic, which was mm -hmm. like the worst possible condition yeah. where yeah. you got to start working on, on, on innovation. Exactly. So, well, but, but maybe it has been a, a failure uh, not to finish some of these products uh, for helping during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think maybe. <laughs> and well, what made you join Barcelona Health Hub? I would say the possibility of being connected to many other uh, agents of health of the healthcare sector in Barcelona and outside. So I would say basically getting the, the visibility that BHH can give us and uh, the possibility of linking with other partners, uh, both again in Barcelona and uh, outside. Yes, it's very important because we, we plan to complete the, the hospital-wide predictive uh, systems and um, uh, helping us to get in, uh, to other hospitals, especially in France or uh, outside of Spain, eh? and um, for making the, the pilots and, and um, working uh, European projects, it will be very, very helpful. Oh, also, uh, mm -hmm. we are uh, beginning to take our technology to other sectors uh, outside strictly healthcare, such as uh, insurance, mutualities, and pharma. And uh, the Barcelona Health Hub is very strong on, on, connect, on contacts on these uh, sectors as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay, and what do you expect from us from the future? Um, well, the, we say now um, the expectation in, in, in this uh, in help us with this network, especially in pharma and, and other comp and big companies. 
And well, is there anything else you'd like to tell us about, about yourself, about the whole company? Oh, no, I don't know, no. Ricard. You, no. you were... So for 2020, uh, for 2022, one of the main goals that we have is interna internationalization. And this, me this means making international contact, uh, contacts. If you can help at all with that, we'd be very happy. Uh, particularly, for example, finding partners for European uh, projects or uh, in general, having support and information on these new calls that are appearing. Okay, hopefully we can make this happen. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.